I'm gonna have something that you would be responsible if you want to come but you're not if you think that's a hazard then take it down that's that's not how it's gonna work though that is how it works Playing the game of trees. Okay, what we got here? Norway maple. Okay. Just for the record, this is 100% over the property line. It's not completely failed. It's technically this guy's responsibility. But these guys are taking care of it. And he's claiming if we don't take by, down this other side that we're responsible for it. But it's clearly 100% his tree. He's responsible for it all. It's grace that these guys are taking care of this part. So I'm just putting this on the record just in case there's an issue. So these two trees are separate entities. This tree is not doing anything to support it. Hi. Hi. We're going to be taking this off today. Okay, so you're not taking this? We, we aren't. I mean, this is 100% your tree. Sure. So I just want to so. make you aware that the other, the other three arborists or whatever you guys call yourself right. um, have said that they don't know what would happen to this, if it'll die, if it will have too much weight with the counterbalance of this one. This, this tree has nothing to do with this side. They're, they're already separate entities. Sure. You know, so, so that this is here or this isn't here doesn't change the status of this one. Sure, no, I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm just saying that before that you start, I need to type something up that if something does happen to this side, that you guys will be responsible for it. We're not responsible for it. This is 100% your tree. Why aren't you taking care of this? I took down another tree already. This, I know. That's not your problem. So. I, I know, I know. But but this is the issue that's the hazard. We're, we're being hired to take away the hazard from this property. I'm just saying. That. What we're doing here has nothing to do with your site. Okay. I'm not making it more hazardous by taking no, this I'm off. I'm not saying that you are. I'm just saying that I am going to have something that you would be responsible if you want to come. But you're not. If you think that's a hazard, then take it down. That's that's not how it's going to work, though. That is how I'm it works. If you want to come on my property to take it down, I... I'm not coming on your property to take it down. We're going to be over here. Sure, but my property does go over there. Well, how's the lot line go? Um, it's almost up to the garage. Okay. You know, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm just saying that that's... The other guy that was here agreed the same thing. He couldn't show up until Saturday. So I, that's why you I know. But this this isn't their responsibility to take sure. this down. It is the same thing the tree that was here. It wasn't, it wasn't all my responsibility to take that down when it was almost touching their house. You, you can... Well, you know, that's whatever. Point. This is going to stand here probably for a long time. You know, whatever. If you think you got a case to come after me, if this falls sometime in the future, I'll tell you what, your insurance company, if you know this is a hat or you think this is a hazard and you leave it, it's you on you. Do something. I, it's be I have nothing to do with that part. So it, it's, it, even though it's two, it's one together. It's no, it's, it's separate. It's separate. That tree is, that part is not helping or hurting that part. Right. Well, that's, uh, I get what you're saying. You know, I I'm mean. I'm just saying that I'm not going to. I'll tell you what. Okay. I, I'm a board certified master arborist. I've been in court as an expert witness. What you're saying, there's, you got nothing. So. You got nothing. Based on what <laughs> the other guys said too, if, if you cut it wrong, 
anywhere, even just trimming it, it could kill the whole tree. No, the, these are these are two separate sprouts. You know, it was probably an old stump that got cut off, and then they were just left to grow. So there are three of them growing. Sure. Ultimately, at the beginning. I, well, no, I'm just telling them that I'm gonna hold them responsible if something happens. The, you're, you have he's, nothing to hold. He's trying to tell me you that, have nothing to hold. That I should pay to cut it down or whatever the case may be. But that's just how it, that I, that's that's how it's gonna be. You, well, you're speaking off a hypothetical, but this well, our our what we're being hired to do is. Well, yeah, all of them did. Yeah, he's well, the only one not. You're you're. Uh, you know, I'm being hired to take down this side, so the whole tree is your responsibility. Okay, I've got to interject here. <laughs> Why am I kind of aggressive in this video? Well, there's some history. Uh, one, I have history with the client. Uh, this was a, a woman who tragically lost her son uh, to a drug overdose. And, you know, several years ago. And in her grief and in her desire to, to leave a legacy for her son's life, she purchased what was an old crack house. Imagine having that for a neighbor. And she created it into a, a sober living home, a faith-based sober living home. And she's doing a wonderful work in a lot of men's lives and giving them second chances. She runs a tight ship. They all have jobs. It's, it's a legitimate nonprofit organization that's doing great work and and you can find it below this video and if if you want to give I've contributed in the past I've I've kind of taught some finance things with the guys and and I've pledged to give some more this year so it, it's a noble cause it's doing some great things and secondly there's a little history with this property line I wasn't involved but there was apparently another tree that grew over the line and it was a nuisance tree to to the, the nonprofit and this guy had to remove it because it was his tree and apparently he's got a little chip on that shoulder but that's the nature of owning trees that grow over property lines uh, sometimes you're responsible for their behavior and now the property line goes to the sky well yes and no uh, put that to the test one time by cutting a bunch of branches off of somebody's tree <clears throat> if what you do kills your neighbor's tree you could very well be liable for that tree and so you have to be very careful uh, if uh, even if you dig in the ground and and damage roots that end up killing your neighbor's tree you're going to be liable for that tree and how expensive is that well <clears throat> the most expensive tree is the one you weren't supposed to kill that's for sure uh, and it's probably going to be worth more after you kill it than when it was before you killed it. Uh, that's just how it works. And now, in this case, we are not arbitrarily pruning this tree. Th this is an act of a God that came along, a storm, fractured this tree, and it did everything but drop it on the garage. It's still standing, but it's an imminent hazard. And so, Technically, it's this guy's responsibility. It's still standing. If a tree falls, you know, and falls on your property from another property, it becomes your tree. You know, it's not their insurance company that's going to cover your garage if it falls on your garage. It, that, you know, once it separates and falls to the ground, it's your tree. But it, once, if it's standing, it's kind of the neighbor's tree. It originates there. It's his hazard to, to protect you from that damage. But in this case, he, he kind of doesn't want to take responsibility. And, and the, the cops kind of favor, oh, no, it goes to the line, and, you know, the property line goes to the sky. That, that's, that's their tree. So without the court of law, you know, the, the police officer isn't the court of law. So he, he thinks he's got an argument that now we're arbitrarily pruning a tree. If it damages the other side, you know, he's going to get his removed. You know, it's going to be my responsibility somehow. And that was because some arborist said, oh, no, they should both come down. No, these are separate stems. Uh, you know, if you look at the base, I'm pretty positive that I'm right on this, that it was probably an old stump and several shoots grew out, and three of them, and one's been cut off already. 
and these two stems remain. And a lot of times when this occurs, they graft together and they become kind of one. But in this case, there is no graft. There's an absolute visual separation physiologically. There's nothing I do to this tree over here is going to do anything to the tree that's remaining. And so, you know, <laughs> they're just, it's apples and oranges. And, and so, you know, I'm not an attorney. But according to a reasonable degree of probability within my field of expertise, I'm not going to be responsible for that tree. So with all that context, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Possibility. No, no yeah. it's not. Only the property line goes up. Property line all the way up in, in the, the air. No. Yes, uh, again. The was already here. I, yeah. the, the police chief was already here. The, that doesn't that. hold up in court. You know, sure so. Because that's what we've been told. You're. Well, I've been in the court. So, so where do you want? You want me to cut this off right here then? I mean, we'll take, we're gonna take it down to here just because that's what should be done. But, you know, the property line, you can't, if, 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 if we were gonna prune a tree on a property line, we can't, we can't prune it to damage the tree just because that property line doesn't go all the way up. It's not because they're separate entities. They're separate entities. So it, so we're gonna take this side off. You know, if you want to hold me responsible, go ahead, bring the case. Well, just <laughs> don't go on my property at all. Then we'll, well, we're gonna take it right to here. Well, we'll we're gonna remove the hazard. So our friendly neighbor told us that this neighbor called him and said that she can see on camera that our outriggers are on her property, which indeed they likely are, but. You know, we're in process here, so we're probably not going to change, but I'll tell you, if she calls in and actually complains, because we don't know that she actually called, we just know that that guy said she called. So if somebody actually asked me to move my lift, I could. I could set up in the driveway here, but the power line is a little more obstructive in the driveway. I've got a, I'm working against it here too. I'm underneath it, but at any rate, I tell you, drama. It's like life is too short to to have this kind of conflict, I mean, whatever. So yeah, sometimes in a game of trees, there's, you know, tempers and property lines and different things. And we gotta work around them. And we gotta do what we do. 
And uh, so I hope you like the video. Like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Playing the game of trees